Hi everyone, my name is Tony Wale and welcome to another exciting episode of Skyrim Mod Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to download Sky UI um, by the Sky UI team, the user interface for Skyrim Special Edition. And uh, it's 5.1. Now please be warned, this is a test so it's just coming out. Now if there's any other ads to the to Sky UI, I will show you I will update this video uh, for you in the future. But for right now I'm just going to show you how to download and endorse it. Now I will endorse it uh, in a moment, I just downloaded it, so it will be a while. Please endorse the mod once you use it. And by the way, you're also going to need SKSC64. Um, this is also an alpha stage, but I'm going to show you how to download Zoom together, both for Nexus Mod Manager. You're going to need to make sure that you have um, uh, Skyrim Special Edition uh, installed for Nexus Mod Manager for this, and you will need to launch it from um, a custom uh, EXE file. Now, before we get started, I want to um, just down first off, you're going to do download the file from. Um, from the internet and you can do it directly to the mod manager which will be in here and you can install it or you can um, I usually, usually when it comes to Sky UI uh, you can download it directly here I'm going to download Sky UI into uh, Nexus mod manager from uh, manually so uh, I usually do it here now you can do it here as well now this one SKC you're going to want to download separately and I'm going to show you why so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download um, Sky UI which I've done and I'm going to add the mod to the Nexus My Manager, and I have it on my uh, desktop. We're right here. We're going to open up. Now you'll find it usually in your undersigned, or if you download directly, it'll, it'll be in a place for you if you're logged in. Okay, we're going to click here. And don't worry about Skylight UI; it's not in there. And it downloads in pretty much instantly there. So now Sky UI is plugged in. As you can see here, you want to bring it up above. Um, you want to bring Sky UI up above here. All right, on your load order, make sure it's near the top. Now, SKC64 is a different story. So the first thing you want to do is SKC64. Um, you're going to want to make sure it is on your um, computer. You're going to unzip it. Extract files. You're going to click OK. So you're going to do two things. The first thing we're going to do is all we're going to want to um, you're going to want to make 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 a file, and you're going to want to drag and drop these into your data folder. My data folder is here, so I'm going to drag and drop. So, wh however, you want to open up another, another tab for this. I'll go to my data folder. I'm sorry, not your data folder. You're going to want to drag and drop into your Skyrim directory for your uh, SKC64 scripts. So, you're going to take your scripts and you're going to download and you're going to drop them in your directory. Okay? Drag and drop. You're going to replace. Okay? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to exit out of here. Um, actually, so you're going to go to your data folder. Okay, click your data folder, and what you're going to do now is you're just going to drop, take these simple scripts, and you're going to drop the scripts in the data folder. Very, very simple. Boom, done. Or if you want, you can also do what I'm about to show you here. Take your scripts. You're going to back out. You're going to delete this part. You're going to click back, and then you're, you're going to click. You're going to rename this scripts. You're going to re rename it scripts. All right, ready? Watch. You're going to save it. You're going to click out of here, and then you're going to see. As you can see here, it's renamed. Rename the scripts. I'm sorry. Give me. Hold on. Give me a second. You're going to take this mod. You're going to drag it over here. Right, and you're gonna uh, zip it. Once it's renamed scripts, you're gonna zip it up. All right, because the reason you're zipping it up, you want it to look exactly like this: data and then scripts. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the scripts on on uh, through Nexus Mod Manager. You're gonna go back. You're gonna do it manually. You're gonna click here. You're gonna go to um, looking for scripts. Yep, here they are. You're gonna click open. You're going to go down to your unassigned. You're going to click install your SKC scripts. Give it a second. You're going to click, uh, if you already have installed, you click yes to all. And now you have your scripts inside. They're inside the, now your SKC, now your Sky UI should work perfect. All right, so remember you want to uh, make sure you uh, pull it out of this. And you're going to want to, uh, this one, and you want to pull it out after you rename, rename that file. You're going to install the scripts. Now we're going to check our data folder. Just to, we're going to double check the data folder and make sure they're in there properly. Click your scripts, and as you can see here, you see these are the SKC. And you can check those sources here. All right, yep, they're all there. 
Awesome, our scripts are installed. Now what we're going to don't worry about this, this is for the creation kit. This, those don't matter. All right, now we're going to uh, load up Sky UI. Now, usually right now, um, Skyrim Special Edition usually would launch from the, the custom um, the custom set, and usually you would set it up through uh, the tool itself. However, it looks like my Nexus Mod Manager isn't uh, picking up the .exe file for uh, special for um, SKSC right as of right now. Um, so I will eventually show you guys how to do that through the update. But for now, we can just launch it through the folder itself, so you don't have to worry about this. Everything's installed for you, and usually you can launch the the tool. But you're gonna want to launch the, launch a Sky UI to work properly through the SKSE um, exe file, which you'll find in your data. You can find in your Skyrim directory. And uh, so you go ahead in your Steam, and you're gonna find under here. Um, it is installed already, so all you gotta do is launch launch SKSE um, this one right here. So you're gonna launch this. All right, everyone. Now that we launched it, we're gonna go ahead. And we're gonna we're gonna see uh, Sky UI is working properly. We're gonna click continue. It should be installed. All right. Now we're gonna make sure that um, we want to see if S Sky UI is working properly. We're gonna click here. Oh, yep, there it is. It is. It's and it's registered with the menu. So we have Sky UI inside of our uh, inventory. You can check it out. Looks like it's working fine. Now we're gonna click the pa the the um the magic. The magic looks like it's working and fine as well. Now we're gonna check the mods. So you click here and you're gonna s see over here, and there's the MCM menu. Okay, you click Sky UI. Click General. And please be warned, this is an alpha stage, so it is being worked on still, but SkyUI looks like it is working properly for all your groupings and your settings. This is the proper one, so make sure you're using this one. Not the one that if you've uh, converted over, I recommend using the new SkyUI. It's always better to use the mod that's um, created by the actual creators, okay? Alright, so we've gone ahead and we've shown you how to install SkyUI and use it properly for your game. Now let's check out our favorites menu just to make sure. That's usually the best, the best way to do it. So click here, we'll click Favorites, and we'll click Bow as well, along with the sword. We'll click Q and then through the numbers and stuff just to make sure they're working. Yep, it is. And then we click through the. Th oh, and as you can see, the favorite menu is working properly. All right, everyone, that's how you download and install Sky UI for Nexus Mod Manager. Once again, I'd like to thank you for guys for uh, checking out my channel. Go ahead and please, um, please uh, like my channel and share it with your friends. If you guys like my, um, like my, ch uh, like my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. If you guys like my videos, go ahead and like and share. Once again, my name is Tony Olay. Thanks for the click, and I'll see you next time.